The following is an imaginary skit from a drama CD I have planned. Basically, this drama CD is supposed to be an imaginary skit of what happens between KOF Maximum Impact 2 and KOF Maximum Impact 3. Since the original project was cancelled by SNK, I have taken my own liberty on how this uh, scene will go about. So yes, please, do sit back and enjoy. <coughs> KOF Maximum Impact 3. The Syndicate Talk. <laughs> Unknown Location. Ah! Jelange! So, how has this project been going? Well, Javatma, for you see, I heard you had your ass kicked clear across Grand Mosque by Judaim. <laughs> That's the Judaim I know. Yes, we certainly know him too. But what about the traitors, Type D and Type N? <laughs> you need not worry about them. I fought them. But I didn't have the time to remove them from the premises. Remove? You fool, Javatma. Do you realize how much precious material is invested within those modified humans? <laughs> As the leader of Kusio, I know good and well. But my intentions were to summon Judaim. Ah, so, what about the boss, our leader? <laughs> You should know. You're the one who's worked on him. Oh. I think he has something to tell you, Javatma. <laughs> Good job on using him as a scapegoat. Who, who are you talking about? You know who I'm talking about. Judaim. And what about the other half of him? <laughs> Let's just say he is in safer hands right now. The poor boy doesn't even know he's the one who's carrying him around. Well. <laughs> yes, Alba Mira. You will continue to be my guinea pig, my favorite soldier, and my prodigy straight into hell. Javatma, you are dismissed. Yes. Jalange. Yes. There's a few things I want to discuss with you. As first we lost Mephistopheles, now we have basically used Kusio's vast resources. The Indonesian base is destroyed. I want you to summon the rest of the troops from Belfelga and Asmodeus. We are to destroy Judaim at all cost. But my lord, didn't you want him alive? Yes, I did want him alive, but at the same time, I cannot afford to use Addis's most valuable resources. Oh, and what about Lakia? We will deal with her within due time. About the scientists, is Professor Makshima and Detlev Malik still working on the project? Oh, they're working on the project just fine. But if there's one last thing I should ask you, my lord. What is it? Can you make sure that you salvage the host bodies after the tournament? I do have plans to revive them as well. For whatever forge or age. Simple. We need new test subjects for the children of Cocoville's advanced research projects. Very well then. You are dismissed. And with that being said, the leader of Addis, the one behind all the strings, the puppeteer, has set his plans into motion. His name, Fate. <laughs> 